Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got an interesting video for you because many of you have asked about a folding pocket knife that would be legal in the UK and comply with all the requirements. You might remember my video just recently about a different type of knife which has a locking mechanism which albeit just a thumb press here that requires this to be pressed for the knife to collapse in. That makes it a locking knife because it isn't immediately foldable because you cannot fold it without the press of that flap here. And not only that, the blade exceeds three inches, but I was specifically talking about the locking mechanism. So this video, to make it clear, is not a sponsored video, although I'd welcome sponsorship opportunities, but I've decided to use my own money to buy a knife that claims to be a legal folding pocket knife to carry around in the UK. I've said many times before, the law doesn't intend to restrict you from carrying any kind of tool whatsoever, it just does put some fairly strict limits on what you're allowed to carry. And as a brief refresher, that should be no more than three inches in blade, immediately foldable at all times, and no sort of serious jagged edges and slogans of harm and things like that. So this is what I came up with. I went online looking for these things that are advertised as UK legal. And the one that I came up with is the Spyderco UK pocket knife. So I'm going to unbox that for you, examine it, and let you know what I think. Everyone loves an unboxing, so that's what I thought I would do. This arrived very quickly in a very neatly packaged box, and if only I had a sharp thing with which to open the box. And as luck would have it, I do. So let's get this thing open. Always love it when a product comes with a good quality magazine with other things to look at and buy, because that's what I'm like. Very neat packaging and very lightweight. First impressions are that this is very light indeed, but feels fairly solid, so let's take a closer look. It has a solid yet lightweight and very precisely cut plastic handle, and the blade at first glance looks to be very high quality as well. The clip on the back to attach it to your trousers is very solid to the touch and very nice indeed. So the whole point of this is that it's supposed to be UK legal, so it should open and fold very easily without any kind of locking mechanism. So I can confirm that this opens and closes fairly easily, but it doesn't require any kind of button, press, force or anything else to make it close. But lots of people are worried that it's going to be unsafe for the fingers because it doesn't lock in the open position. Now you'll notice my forefinger resting here on this curved point just ahead of the blade. This is supposed to prevent your fingers getting trapped should the blade close unintentionally. So I intentionally tried to close the blade with my fingers in the way to see what happened. And from this close-up shot here, you can see that there are actually grooves in the metal ahead of the blade here. So even if I do close the blade with my fingers in place, the worst it's going to do is really pinch my finger between that grooved part and the plastic part, as you can see here. And even when I really try to force the blade down towards my fingers, it's just not possible. So I actually think this is a really good design because even if I'm cutting something and it accidentally folds in on me, and I'm, I've used quite a bit of force there, it simply won't come towards my fingers because if I'm holding it properly, the worst it does is pinch my finger in this little V shape here. So I can honestly say that's a very good design. I didn't really expect it to be quite as good as this. But as I said, this is not a sponsored video. I've paid for the knife myself, and this is my genuine opinion on the design of the knife for starters. So is it really immediately foldable at all times, as required by law? Now, bearing in mind it's brand new and I've opened it and closed it a good few times, it doesn't really require any force at all to close it. So in my view, it is immediately foldable. That's check number one. Check number two is the length of the blade. Now, I don't doubt this because it is sold as a legal blade, so I'm going to measure it for myself just to be sure. So placing the very base of the blade up against the edge of the tape measure and measuring precisely the length of this blade, it does measure to precisely three inches, which is the maximum length of blade to come within the exemption of a folding pocket knife. And no knife review video would be complete without a sharpness test, and I know you're not supposed to do this with paper, but we all know it's fun to do. So in conclusion, my thoughts on this are that it's very lightweight, it seems to be very well made, it's very sharp, how long it stays sharp for will remain to be seen. The round hole for one hand opening does sort of work. I suppose I would get used to that using it as a tool. And whilst there is a spring tension in keeping it open, I cannot say that it locks because it is immediately foldable at all times. There is no press of a button. 
there is nothing that I need to do other than fold it in. And for those of you that have got the safety in mind and concerns about safety with a blade obviously trapping your fingers because it's not locking, I can honestly say that I can't imagine using enough force with this even to close it accidentally. And even if I did, the worst it's going to do is pinch my finger in the very middle here. So I honestly think this is a relatively safe knife to use as a tool for anything that you're likely to use a folding pocket knife for. And whilst by no means am I encouraging anybody to carry knives around unnecessarily and certainly not in places that are restricted, this is the kind of thing that the legislation says you are permitted to carry with you as a tool, but of course, as I've said in many other videos, certainly not for the purposes of self-defense. Even something like this, if you were carrying around for the purposes of self-defense, it would make this an offensive weapon. Just like carrying anything else around that I would be intending to use for harm would make that an offensive weapon for the purposes of the Prevention of Crime Act, Section 1. So I hope you found that interesting. Leave me your thoughts and comments below, and thanks for watching.